Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sarah Schmidt, announcer for this year's International Milking Shorthorn Show. We're happy to have you back with us as our cow classes are now entering the ring. The class entering the ring are the yearling heifers in milk. The first place award in this class is presented by Westway Feed Products of Tumble, Texas. The best udder rosette is presented by Cattle Connection of Amory, Wisconsin. And the junior award is presented by GMC Farm Greg and Marsha Clark of Cornish Flat, New Hampshire. We had a beautiful heifer show yesterday. Looking forward to the cow classes today. Those gentlemen who will be officiating are Mr. Jack Lomeo Jr. and Simone Lalonde. I'd like to take this time to introduce you to this year's judges of the International Milking Shorthorn Show. Having previously stood in this show ring in 2014 as the associate judge, Ladies and gentlemen, place these at our complete in our lifetime cheese production cow class. At this time, we're pleased to announce the NASCO International Type and Production Award winner is also in this class. She plays fourth in class, Mary Noel Excite Rosie, exhibited by Ernest Kiefner and Terry Packard of Boonesboro, Maryland. Congratulations. We would also like to recognize our winning junior entry is entry 1268, Wildina Jade B., exhibited by River Valley Farm, Ben, Andy, Blessing, and Grace Souter of Tremont, Illinois. Placing third in the class is entry 1262, Miss Violet, exhibited by Ron and Christy Ratliff of Garnet, Kansas. Second in the class, and also first bred and known, entry 1265, Pleasant Nook, Sultan Jetta, exhibited by Pleasant Nook Jerseys of Air, Ontario. And the winning entry, and also best utter in class, and the production award winner in class is entry 1271, Stony Point Excitation Jamie, exhibited by River Valley Farm, Ben, Andy, Blessing, and Grace Souter of Tremont, Illinois. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge your comments. And out here in the production class, we got a lot of different stages of lactation, number of calves. You know, cows that are in different stages. But just a beautiful cow to start the class. An 11-year-old cow. She's had eight calves. And that's what gets her to the top. Eight, eight babies still showing her udder above the hawks. This cow, when she moves around the ring, she's got style and balance. Beautiful set of feet and legs. Like I said, eight calves and her udder's up in there. You love the way the fore udder ties in, the height and the width to the rear udder. And just a beautiful cow to win the class. Coming in second to cow, you just got to love the dairy strength of this cow. She's so dairy, extreme dairy openness. You love the spring and depth to the rib. And the more I prefer in the third cow is I like her up through the front end. She holds herself a lot better. She's higher in the chine. She moves on a little bit better set of feet and legs. I prefer her passers over this beautiful cow coming here in third. The third place cow is a cow. I give her advantage over fourth, just the way she's a little bit freer moving today. She's got a little bit more bloom to her today. She's not milking as long. Fourth place cow, a cow I've always admired. Love the frame, the length of the frame, the width and the power she has. Just a beautiful mammary system. She, like I said, she's just not moving free enough today to move up in the class. But it's that width through her front end that gets over the cow in fifth. She's got so much more width up in the chest floor. And that width that carries all the way through her midsection over this extreme style cow here in fifth. The fifth place cow, a cow you just love the length of frame. She's hard top, moves on a great set of feet and legs. It's the feet and legs that gets her over this very youthful cow coming here in sixth with the beautiful mammary system. Congratulations to the breeders and exhibitors of the production class.